In this problem, we're trying to estimate the speed of sound based on a rule of thumb that the problem gives us. And what this rule of thumb states is that if you see a lightning flash and you're waiting to hear when the, the thunder comes to you, for every one mile away the source of the lightning is, that is an extra five seconds it will take before you actually hear the thunder. So basically, what this, uh, what this problem, what this rule of thumb is really saying is that it takes five seconds for thunder to travel a distance of one mile. And we want to use this information to estimate what the speed of sound is. And we can do this using the speed equation, the equation that tells us that the speed of something is equal to the distance it travels divided by the amount of time it takes to travel that distance. And in the case of the information this problem gives us, we have this mile, or the distance is one mile, and the time as five seconds. Now the problem does mention that we want to find our estimate in meters per second, so we're going to have to do a little conversion here to convert this, to convert from miles into meters. And if you look it up, if you look this up, you can find that one mile is equal to about uh, 1,609 meters. So you can use that here and then multiply it by this factor just like this so that the miles will cancel out. And we find a speed of about 322 meters per second. Now, technically, the, the proper scientific thing to do is recognize the fact that this is a, a rule of thumb, so the values are probably not accurate, and we're only looking to estimate anyway. So technically, the, the proper thing to do would be to recognize that this can only be a rough estimate, and to round this to one significant figure and give an answer of about 300 meters per second. And, that's, and this is probably the answer that the textbook is looking for. But I do want to note, I do want to note that the actual accepted value for the speed of sound, like the true value, I should say, uh, because it can change depending on climate and, and other conditions, the actual speed of sound can range between about, uh, from about 330 to about 343 meters per second. So this value isn't actually all that bad. So it's a pretty cool estimate. But, uh, but now let's look at part B which asks us to come up with a similar rule for kilometers instead of miles. Now one way we can do this is take this value you found up here, 322 meters per second, and figure out from that speed how long it would take for, uh, for the lightning, or for the thunder rather, to travel one kilometer. Now keep in mind we're only looking for an estimate here. It doesn't have to be perfect. But because one kilometer is equal to a thousand miles, you might notice logically here that 322 meters per second is almost a third of the way there because three times this is equal to 966 meters per second, which is interesting, which is an interesting result. Because this is, again, if we're rounding, we're only looking for an estimation rule. It doesn't have to be perfect. If we're rounding, this is pretty close to, roughly close to, a thousand meters per second. If we're rounding to a single significant figure. So what that tells us is that it takes three seconds for the thunder to travel one kilometer. So if we were to come up with an equivalent rule, we could say that the thunder travels one kilometer about every three seconds. Every three seconds. So based on our like rough estimates, this would be a pretty decent rule to come up with if we wanted an equivalent rule of this for kilometers. And that is a pretty interesting result. But that's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that will help me out with future videos like this. It'll help me make more. And if you have a question about this video, like something you didn't understand, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video, or you just want to hang out, 
I have my Discord server and my Twitch linked in the description down below. But, uh, but that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.